crusted smiles, and uh, I'm an ageless Southern California surfer. You can pretty much find me on the beach six out of seven days as long as there's waves. Man, surfing is, is one of the most beautiful things you can ever do. You know, uh, that water is a mystery. And um, water has so many connotations from, you know, cleansing to, you know, a single drop of water can erode an entire mountain. And, and adding like the biblical aspect of it with, uh, with the baptisms and, and things of that nature. Once you step into this, this blue drink, this, the mother, as I like to call her, something happens to you, man. I, I get in these, in these rhythms where I, I'm like city boy and I'm running around and I'm driving and, uh, uh, and you know, it's, I'm on the go. And as soon as I hit here, something happens to my, to my physiology or something changes. And by the time I get out of the water, oh man, it's a done deal. The rest of my day is already set. One other way to do it then, completely in the moment, with this wave that's come from miles away, just for you. to surf. Most people think surfing happens in the legs, but it does not happen in the legs. All of surfing happens in the arms. So the wave comes, arms here. If your arms are here, you won't surf. If your arms are here, you won't surf. Here, right under you, and up. Right? And I always tell my students, I'm not married to how you get up. However you get up is how you get up. Your body, your computer is different than mine's. But I know for a fact that you will not surf if you try your arms here. Because it will just push the board that way or that way. And this is just hard to get up. Who's strong enough to get up like this? You know? So all of surfing happens right under right under the nipples, actually. And boom. Everything else, the body figures out on its way. Right? These beautiful computers that we've been gifted with. Called life, these shells have everything we need. So I always just say, get out there, go have fun, be a five-year-old, tap into your inner, like, love child, and just go nuts. You know, the water is like a pillow; it's so soft. The black surf culture, which is interesting because it does exist. That's. That's the funniest part, is that people don't think black people surf, but there's, there's a bunch of us. There's a bunch of us. Um, I guess it's not a bunch of we all know each other, but every once in a while I'll run into one, I'm like, where you come from? And the black surf culture is really, really connected. We, uh, we all love each other, you know? We hold it down for each other, um, because it's not expected, but it's so beautiful. And, and you know our, our people see this brother right here um, our people uh, have such a, uh, such a style and such a grace and we do anything that that it's pretty beautiful to see you know once you catch one of those big blue you know monsters of love you almost get addicted You know, like surfing feels like a drug in some sense because you always want it. You know, your body's searching for it, your soul is searching for it, your mental is searching for it. Yeah.
not tell me that doesn't look like fun. Everybody needs to surf. My grandmother needs to surf. She's 198 years old. I'm gonna get her out here. You too.